Do you ever find yourself struggling to speak in English without trying to translate in your head first? Well, it's a pretty common problem for most English learners, but it really doesn't have to be. So in this video, I am going to go through all the tips that will really help you not translate in your head. So you are going to be able to speak English fluidly, freely, without that extra barrier. So why do we want to stop translating in our heads? Well, surely enough, it's another thing to think about. You don't want to rely on having a conversation while always thinking like, oh wait, in Spanish or in my language, this is how you would say it. So this is how I'm gonna say it in English. Like you, that just adds another layer of thinking and it just, it doesn't need to be there. It, it will also hinder your experience in learning English to actually learn English properly because a lot of the rules in your native language will not always be the same in English. So that's a really important reason why you need to stop translating in your head and focus on just learning and being able to speak freely, confidently, and easily. All right, so what's the first thing you can do? Well, the first thing is to really expand your vocabulary. Out of all of the four categories of learning a language, vocabulary is probably the strongest one you need to master first. You really need to start building it on your own. You cannot rely on a teacher. You cannot rely on me to teach you word by word. You have to do it yourself. You have to read books. You have to listen to podcasts. You have to watch Netflix in English. You have to do all these things yourself in your own time to help build up that vocabulary because it's so important when you go ahead and try to speak to people that you already have this understanding alone. But trust me, the more words you know, the more vocabulary you know, the easier it's going to be to learn English because as you are being told something or someone is explaining something to you, you're gonna have an easier time understanding what they mean if you focus on vocabulary. So definitely out of the four categories of language learning, vocabulary is number one and that is your priority from now on. All right, the next thing that you need to do to stop translating in your head is to practice in conversation. Now, it's one thing to have maybe like an English tutor or an English professor who helps you navigate all areas of English. That's one thing and that's great to have, but you should really also have a focus on conversation. So think about who in your life knows English well enough or speaks English basically fluently or natively and try to reach out to them. Maybe go for a coffee with them. Maybe go for a walk with them and practice your conversation. There's so many free language exchanges on the internet in cities where you can go and meet new people. If you are one of those people who like to meet people, I'm one of those people, then go out there and meet the people and start having those language conversations. There's actually one website that I would really recommend if you want to have an online language exchange for free. It's called Hello Talk. So you can log in for free, find some new friends. Maybe they'll ask you to speak in like your native language and then as, and then you can take turns, like maybe you'll speak in English for a bit, maybe they'll ask to speak in Spanish for a bit, or in whatever language that you speak, and then you'll have this little exchange and you can help each other too. Maybe you say like, you can explain to this person, oh, like the Spanish R more sounds like brrr, and they can tell you, oh, like the two is more like a ta, you know? So like having that intention with somebody who is also learning a language, who that is your language, is really gonna help expand your mind and get you out of translating in your head. All right, this next tip is to stop translating in your head. <laughs> so that sounds so redundant because I'm giving you tips to help navigate this, but the reality is that you need to intentionally make sure that you are not translating in your head. So that is going to take a little bit of practice, but when it comes down to reading something, maybe you're watching Netflix and you are maybe watching them with the subtitles in your language. Well, first of all, stop that. Change the subtitles 
only to English. And from there, really just focus on it. If you're like, oh, I don't really understand this, make sure you have the intention of realizing, okay, I don't understand this, but I'm not going to think about it in my language. I'm going to think about it how it should be in English. And the reason why this is so important is because when you go ahead to talk to somebody, you don't want to be slow. When you are translating in your head, then you, what happens is you have a lot of hmms and has, or you're trying to answer a question, but it's not coming out so fluidly. Maybe you're thinking for a moment, you're like, ah, oh, wow. It's because you're translating in your head. So if you can be aware that you're doing that and focus on like, don't be slow focus on just answer the question and that will hopefully remove some gap of it but always think about how it should be in English as a priority all right this last one is pretty familiar if you've been watching me for a while and that is to practice idioms 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 are so important for native English speakers I don't know why I don't make the rules. It's just literally what happens. We love using idioms and phrasal verbs, all the expressions to talk. That's just how we speak. And actually for myself, I never realized how often we use idioms in English until I had to start learning how to teach other people how to learn English. And so I would highly recommend focusing, 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 learn an idiom once a day, if not once a week, practice it, use it in conversations because I don't know what it is, but us English speakers love speaking in expressions. <laughs> so practice them as much as you possibly can. And lastly, just focus on thinking in English. When you are out and around, when you are walking in the park, when you are going to school, going to work, visiting your family, if you like to talk in your head or like to observe or think or do whatever you're doing in your little noggin, then make sure that you are thinking in English. It's so hard to do, to transition to that, but once you do it enough, it's going to be a habit. And eventually that's going to transfer it to your speaking ability. So what you think, you're gonna be like, oh, like in my head I'm saying like, oh, I see a dog. Oh, after work I need to go pick this up. Oh, and then I need to go do this little assignment. And then I need like, you know, like all those things that you probably think about in your head. Just make that habit. Think of it only in English. See how it works. Try it for like a few days. It's gonna feel weird at first, trust me. I do this with French all the time. When I realize that I need to practice my French, I just start thinking in French. And then when I go ahead to speak, I feel more confident when I speak. And so it's going to be the same for you as an English learner it's gonna happen so biggest takeaway for today is making sure that you're always thinking in English remember the more you practice the easier it's going to become now if you're wondering how you can master your emotions in English go ahead and check out this next video I go ahead to explain some of the most common idioms that we use when we are expressing ourselves just over here <laughs>